Most guys don't expect to find love in another state, let alone in another country. Why is it such a big trend that Southeast Asian women are so desirable? Why are these women so popular in 2021? Well, today I'm gonna tell you guys why these women, Philippines to be specific, are so desirable amongst foreigners, in particular Americans. So from my perspective and from my experiences, I can shed a whole lot of light on you guys as far as dating here in the Philippines. So stick with me, don't go anywhere because I'm gonna be giving you some gems, dropping some gems on your life, and I'm gonna be giving you experience based on what I know, what I've seen, and, and different accounts from other foreigners. But before we get into the video, if you aren't already subscribed to my channel, subscribe, hit the notification bell because I do drop content on a weekly basis, and I do see that only a very few percentage of my viewers are actually subscribed, so it really helps out with my channel. Please guys, if you can be so kind, to help me out it's going to do great for the YouTube algorithm and voicing my experience and opinions for those guys that really need it out there Filipinas so desirable amongst foreign men and in particular Americans well this is quite an interesting question most would say that it is their traditional or cultural upbringing that is such a plus for them and it has a lot to do with that I would say definitely and there's a lot that goes into this term and for me I would say that one of the best things about this country is the culture if you dated in your country, then you know that things are not guaranteed, okay? Things are not guaranteed in general, but from the comparison to here and to, let's say, America, man, things are really not guaranteed in America, and you might get left behind, you might get dumped, you might get cheated on, I mean, in a snap. So you guys know, a lot of you guys are middle-aged and going through a divorce or went through a divorce. I'm still pretty young. I'm approaching my mid-30s, so I haven't experienced that, and hopefully I don't. But I'm here so that you guys can make a better decision on dating because there is, there is the answer out there, and the answer is Southeast Asia, okay? When you hear about these women being so desirable, it's very true, and just like my perspective on it, it's definitely the culture and the traditional upbringing. There's a long list of things you might hear out there. Filipinas are loving, Filipinas are caring, they're trustworthy, they're honest. They're all of these things, you know, but it depends on what you really want. It depends on what you're looking for. So let's start with number one. Number one on my list is Filipino women are family oriented. So this is very huge here. If you guys are coming from uh, your country and maybe your family unit isn't as tight as uh, most or an average Catholic family would be, then you're gonna come here and learn something very, very valuable. You're gonna learn that there is a strong family unit within different cultures. And that is gonna translate massively to the way she treats your kids or the kids that you guys share. So that would be one thing that I've noticed and uh, I can definitely guarantee that um, if you have one, she's going to be definitely devoted to her family. She's going to take care of her family. And guess what? That's how they're brought up here. That's how they're raised here. And that's part of the culture. They're taught that family is a priority. And no matter what, you hold your family down. Okay? It's not like other countries where, you know, family is so broken. Family unit isn't as tight as others. So you will learn that here. That would definitely be a benefit for you if you plan to come here, meet a woman and marry her, and then eventually have kids in the future. You're gonna want somebody that's gonna be able to take care of yours the way you take care of yours. Well, it depends on if you're a good father or not because there are, you know, there are shit fathers here in the world today. Number two, 
Filipinas are true to their vows. Okay, let me tell you this. This is very, very true. When they say, till death do us part, it is a definite here for your Filipina. Now, Filipinas lead the way in a relationship when it comes to caring, loving and caring. Definitely, they will lead the way. And even if you're sick, you know, in your country, in U.S. or in other countries, uh, once you reach a certain age, uh, 65, 70, and you can no longer wipe your ass, you can no longer cook for yourself, you can no longer do things, then your Filipina will do that for you. She will care for you no matter what. And uh, that is a benefit for you because maybe when you reach that age, if you do have kids or if you have family in the U.S., they're going to stick your ass in a nursing home and have a CNA or somebody take care of you, pay monthly for you, and uh, maybe you'll never see your family again. That isn't the case when you come here and you meet a woman. She's going to care for you. The top-notch kind of care that you've never experienced, yeah, it's out there and it's in another country. And that is my number two reason why the women here are so desirable is yes they will wear the pants when it comes to caring in the relationship and even if they surpass your expectations they will keep surpassing and exceeding your expectations on the care department number three is probably something you've already seen if you've been skimming on youtube been interested in having a filipina or coming to the philippines then you would have seen some foreigners taking their woman back to their country and uh you would think that they would feel out of place but Number three would be, Filipinas are super adaptable, okay? They're super adapting to new environments. Just think about it. They come from a very hot country. So right now, I'm kind of sweating. I'm outside. It's definitely about 90 degrees out here today. And just think about how long these, these women live here, okay? And sometimes they find themselves in another country, somewhere in Norway somewhere in England where it's much colder or it even snows this doesn't phase them that's part of their adaptation that's part of them being adaptable they're adapting to different situations and environments is like no other and they either come from the province or the city and you know the Philippines is a developing country it waits for no one so with that being said they're brought up to have to adapt to different things you know Things might happen you know a lot of people here are poor and they have to adapt to the situation so if you do meet a woman here and you happen to want to take her back nine times out of ten gonna be able to adapt to any living conditions any environment any climate so that is definitely a plus because there are a lot of men that don't want to live here that don't want to retire here so they usually take them back to their country and and they do very very well so that is another thing that uh, is a very good plus for you guys uh, especially if you guys are well established in your country and you don't want to leave things behind or it would be a big hit to leave some things behind so having your woman that is adaptable is definitely a shirt plus you might find that it's a little bit different uh, I had to change my shirt it started to rain it's not as hot as it was earlier uh, so I took a little break from the from the vlogging part it started to rain so we're back here. Yeah. Number four, Filipinas are accommodating. Now, I would say all Filipinos are accommodating. Uh, but note that I did not use the word submissive. Uh, in all reality, Filipinas are not even close to submissive at all. Uh, well, from my experience, yeah, they're not. And um, I would say, and they're more accommodating in the sense that they're considerate and accommodating when they need to be but when they know that they're right they will stand their ground and they'll hold some sort of pride you know and some people say that they're feisty i would say feisty uh is not a good word to describe i mean every girl is feisty i would say filipinas aren't feisty they are spirited definitely absolutely more spirited than feisty yeah so when you come here, you're gonna kind of feel like out of place the way people treat you. They're gonna treat you very good and accommodating is just one side of how the culture is and how they usually treat the guests or somebody new. Number five is probably one of the most important ones. If you are considering coming here and having your own family at some point with a Filipina, 
This one is very, very important, and Filipina can build and take care of a home. There are other countries out there that the women do the same, but it's nothing like back home, or if you do find this back home in your country, you are a lucky man. No, it doesn't mean that they can pick up a hammer and build a house from ground up. Definitely not. It doesn't mean it in the literal sense, but it, it means that they can build a structured family. Also, they are excellent in keeping a house in order both physically and figuratively. So, if you are one of these messy guys that uh, a lot of you guys are, so don't even try to say that you're not. So, the Filipina is gonna make sure everything is tidy. She's gonna make sure everything is nice. If you have guests, she's gonna wanna make everything look great. And she could basically be sort of like the manager of the house. They're very good at this. So, this is a very, very good benefit for you. And if you are somebody that is also like this, then Two of those together makes a very good household. I'm gonna be quite frank with you, I'm not the tidiest person. I came out here to find one that can help me become tidy and help me out with all of these things that I've mentioned on the list and I hope that you can find this in the future. Have it. Those are my five reasons why Filipino women are so desirable. That is amazing for you if you are planning to come here and mingle with some Filipinas, then, then go for it. You're, you, you are getting yourself into something that is going to flourish and benefit you in the future. If that's something you want, then pursue it. Come to the Philippines. Don't wait like some people. Don't listen to the naysayers, people that are gonna down you about coming here, family, friends, don't listen to them. Aside from that, although it is a very good thing that you can find a woman here that is kind and has all of the qualities that I just mentioned on the list from today. But there is a downside of all of the traits that I've mentioned today in today's video. Now, sometimes these Filipinas are very nice to their partner and then in return receive abuse or some form of mistreatment because they're so nice because so guys treat your filipino well don't abuse them you know don't take kindness for weakness okay so i hope you guys enjoyed the video from today i hope you guys got some knowledge and some insight and these are things that i've been through and what i've witnessed so once again if you're not subscribed to my channel please hit the subscribe button bell notification like and share this video because i want everybody to know these five things okay so thank you very much and i will see you guys next week on monday so peace out guys